how to create meta fields in Shopify. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can create your very own meta fields in Shopify. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So over here, as you can see, I have created this little drop down box. This is a meta field. A meta field is a field that contains more details, right? So I had created this that will contain the detail of the material used in the products and you can create more as you see fit so let's get started so first things first if we come over here and we come into the product section right and the only place where you can actually add details is the title the description and the media box right and you can add variations but that's about it you can't add more details to it right and in the past you couldn't create meta fields as well you needed to go to the uh, um, application store and download an app or do coding and stuff like that but now they've made meta fields native to shopify so to enable meta fields what you need to do is as you can see right here i have meta fields enabled so to actually get them enabled what you need to do is you need to click on the settings option right here at the bottom right corner click over here and at the bottom you will see custom data you click on custom data and over here first option will be meta fields right and over here you will have meta fields for products for variations for variants for collection customers orders locations and many many more you will even have meta objects as well if you want to add them but for me i want them to be added for products and i've already created two of them right so to create them what you need to do is you need to click on add definition all right and over here you add in the name so let's say this is the my products are all watches we'll say band material here we go and then we have description you can add description if you want if you want to leave it you can leave it as well then we'll just simply select the type and if it's a single line text or multi-line text it depends on you we'll just say it's a single line text and then over here we can even add limits as well so we'll just say the minimum is seven right and the maximum is 100 depends on you and then you can just simply click on save and you will have a meta field with the name of band material and we already have the material ones and we'll change actually this to dial material and over here we'll change the length increase it to 100 as well and minimum can be seven as well and then we'll click on save and there we have now two i've even had a specifications one where i added the multi-line text as well and we have the minimum length of 50 to 1000 where we can add multiple specifications of the product so people don't you know worry about it we can also add another one for different names as well so this is how you basically add meta fields right now all we need to do is add these meta fields to our products so let's close it down right here we'll open it up over here and over here as you can see we have the meta field called band material so over here we'll say uh two types of bands we'll just say band type over here and we'll say leather and a mesh there we go and we'll click on save and there we go and if we go back we can add different meta fields to different products as well it's not strictly for one product it's for all products so uh, we added meta fields to this let's go ahead and add meta fields to this one as well so as you can see uh, i added all the information over here in the description which is not good and if we come down here uh, we have our meta fields as well so for that we'll just go ahead and say uh, as you can see band material type is pu we'll just copy that and over here band material type is pu there we go what about the dial material that is stainless steel so then we come over here and we add that as well and if we want to add more stuff to it we copy all of this and we put it over here in specifications because that is where it's needed and remove this one because this is like the feature type we'll add that to the uh, description so and over here we'll remove everything else like so and we'll only keep this single paragraph and then we'll just simply click on save and we should have our meta field save as well i'll delete these two right here now that's pretty much it but we do have to you know add these meta fields 
to each product otherwise it won't work so we already added this to here and here and we need to add our meta fields into other products as well that way the information will be shown as well and i will show you how you can do that and add meta fields when you're in the product how you can add meta fields in the product page as well but uh before that let me just add one more right here so over here we have the band material type we'll just copy that and over here we'll add that to the band material and then we want the dial as well dial material is stainless steel we added that and then we add the specifications that we have right here so we just simply copy that and we add it right here we can go ahead and add a description if we want to but it depends on you all right now that we've added meta fields to most of our products let's go ahead and add them into our product page so for that what you need to do is just simply go to your online store right and go into theme and click on customize and over here at the top drop down click on product and select default products right go to the product page and over here as you can see i've already added ones here let's go ahead and add another one so for this we need to add a collapsible row so for that underneath templates right you want to click on add block so you click on add block and over here you will have a bunch of different options right you will also have a collapsible row right here or pop up if you want to it depends on you you click on collapsible row and it will automatically add a collapsible row right here so as you can see right here then what we can do is we can name it we don't even really have to change the headings we can give it a different uh, name uh, let's say the specs right or specifications right here and we give it a different check name i don't over here we give it a check or uh, an icon as well we can give it pretty cool icons so it depends on you like they have apple banana bottle carrot check mark chat bubble clipboard as well i'll go with clipboard i think that would look pretty cool yeah specifications but they'll have clipboard now to add the content you could add you know go ahead and add it manually or type it but i feel like for that you would have to do it every single time so for insert dynamic source we're going to click over here insert dynamic source and over here we're going to choose specifications and that's it we just simply click on save and let's go ahead and take a view there we go as you can see we now have all the specification that were related to this product pretty simple right now let's go ahead and take a view as well let's view at these products in the website so we now added it right here we'll click on preview on online store and scroll down we have specifications there we go we have all the specifications that we need we even have the material as well we can add other meta fields if you want to but this is generally how you add meta fields to your shopify store simply go to settings go to custom data go choose the meta field you want to add to we'll choose product add the definition of the meta field go to the product scroll to the bottom find the meta fields add the details you want to save go to the product page add the collapsible row underneath templates and just add the name add the icon and click on dynamic sources and select the source you want and that's it so that's how you add meta fields to your shopify store so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye